On April 3, 1973, engineer Martin Cooper stepped out onto the streets of New York with a device the size of a brick in his hand. It weighed nearly 2.5 pounds, had a battery life of about 20 minutes, and looked more like a military radio than a phone. But what he was holding was revolutionary. The very first handheld mobile phone. And who did he call? His rival at AT&T's Bell Labs. Cooper, who worked for Motorola, dialed his competitor just to say, I'm calling you from a mobile phone. A real handheld mobile phone. Talk about bragging rights. The phone was called the Dyna TAC, and it would take another decade before it hit the market. Early models cost around $4,000. That's nearly $10,000 in today's money. And could only store about 30 phone numbers. But despite its price and bulk, it changed everything. Before that, mobile phones were basically car phones, giant devices wired into vehicles. Cooper's handheld proved you didn't need a car to be connected. It planted the seed for a future where phones shrank, got smarter, and eventually became inseparable from our daily lives. It's wild to think that the moment smartphones became possible began with a heavy plastic brick and a cheeky phone call meant to rub it in a rival's face.